Okay, check it out. Here is the largest pick foam case available from UDG. This is the 3XL Black, the new Mark II version, which now has round the back little access for our cables. So the gears just sit on top of it, but the pick foam, if you look closely, you can pull away for the size of whichever equipment you intend on putting in the case. Get it to sit down nice and flush and then the lid goes on. Job done. I'm going to use this primarily with two setups, one for Ableton and one for just hardware. So in this instance, I'm going to all nice and tidy, just pull away, drop everything down. I'm going to stick a Focusrite Scarlet underneath here. Let's get rid of these a second. The foam that's inside, you can also buy more. So I can cut it out and made the measure for this particular configuration and then get another piece of this stuff here and do the same again but for the different equipment that's going on so that nice big chunky piece there and then as you can see you can pull some strips away to feed all your cables down through and underneath and it will all be really nice and tidy and very well protected the great thing about these pick foam cases is the fact that they are extremely light but as robust as your traditional sort of flight case Bit of work to do here for this configuration and that will be sorted for the live sets. Okay, so here's how we're going to look with this particular setup, strictly Ableton only. I'll cut out the two slots here to accommodate the Akai APC-64 and the APC-40 Mark II. And that will just stay nicely in place and I'll have a little bit of space here to get my USB cables in. Just need to dig out some right angled USBs. And then they can go down underneath, bring them upside there, plug them into the Mac, nice, neat and tidy. Same goes for the output of the Focusrite. This particular setup here I'm going to be using for the first time at the old school gig on the 4th of May. And I'll take the other cable out down the back of here. And then out there, and that'll go into the clubhouse mixer in the DJ box, stick it onto one of the channels. And then everything I'm doing here. Is piping into the club's sound system. So one thing I noticed when I was cutting through these, you get the two sheets of foam and they're different thicknesses. First time using one of these pick foam cases, I was thinking that I could go down a certain depth, but you're committed to the depth of the actual piece of foam. You can go that way and that way in terms of picking the area you want to pull away at, but in terms of how deep it goes, you're right through. Now you could say you only wanted to go down two thirds of that. You could in a sense do it, but you'd have to chip away at it and it'd probably be quite messy and might end up being uneven. So there's two pieces of this foam provided, like I said, and it's actually quite clever because the thinner one is more suited for the likes of hardware and uh, bits of gear like that that doesn't have much of a sort of height from you know, your, your desk. And the thicker bit, is designed for DJ controllers that have a lot more height on them. Underneath here, you'll see the bigger bit. I'll measure these up and put it in the description as well. I'm assuming these are going to be the same right across the board of the pick foam range in terms of different sizes of the cases. I stock other ones here, but I've never had them open. This is the first one I've, I've had a good look on the inside of myself personally. So you see you have a lot more going on there. So you have a deeper controller. You go through, you're going to go right down through it and that will be absolutely fine. So you would just put the thinner one on the bottom and then put this chunkier one on the top and then your controller will again just sit nice and flush just to give a scope of the difference. You know, that's massive in comparison to this one here. So this piece, whichever way you decide to do it, up at the back here where I don't have anything cut through the top piece, I can cut out a slot here MacBook goes in, slot for the Focusrite Scarlet, and you know, another square piece here, and get the charger for the Mac, a couple of our USB cables and things. And then, obviously, when our piece sits on top of it, it's all going to stay in place, both layers. So it's everything in the case. And even you know, with that set up, the computer and everything sat, sat on top of it, it's extremely light given the size. That case there actually fits the Pioneer XDJ XZ controller, so just to give you an idea of how large it is. But 
like I said earlier, with these pick foam cases, they're so well built and strong and sturdy, but they're extremely light, uh, which is great. And, you know, stuff like this doesn't weigh a great deal either. So easily transportable and everything's all in the one case. You know, I'll get to the venue, open it up quickly, take the bits from the bottom, pop them in on the top, feed my cables quickly and ready to rock the show. Yes, yeah, so I'm really liking these pick foam cases. If you haven't seen them before, I would highly recommend them because you can pretty much tailor them to your own setup uh, controller or if you want to take a few bits of hardware out and about the gigs and that and you don't want to have to have multiple different cases and unpack and desk space you know you know the size of what you're working on you just make sure that you have that available to you for the, the venue that you might be playing in great cases and they come in a range of different sizes check out the specs for them on the udg website and if any of them are of interest to you give me a shout here i've got pretty much the majority of them in stock um, i'll get you hooked up so catch you in the next one